Hello everyone. I wanted to share why most people are not successful in the raw food. Why is raw food is so hard for people? Well, it's hard. It's not easy to source high quality um, raw food. It's, uh, it can be a challenge nowadays in certain places. And one of the mistakes that people do is they are not in the right place, in my opinion. I was uh, not in the right place for many years, thinking about raw food, knowing about raw food, and trying it. But uh, uh, during that time, I learned that it's not optimal for everyone to always do it uh, everywhere, because people don't know how to source the right food and they don't know how to build a healthy uh, diet wherever they are and the thing here is that the quality of the fruit and the quality of the produce not always great where you are and you you want to learn how to source the organic fresh living fruits and vegetables so you can be healthier and walk with that and make that your priority because so far it's not a priority because it's not fun to do it because it's not tasty and then if you find the right and tasty fruits and vegetables and it's there and um, you can do it the thing is we are not always in a place that we want to do it. We are in a city, we are in a life that whatever happens to us, we are like, let's eat this quick, vegan cooked, whatever, and continue with our life. I don't want to go and look for organic uh, lettuce. So change those this mentality of what you want for yourself, what is better for yourself, and then you will start sourcing that healthier things. Think about what you want to put in your belly before you put it because you are what you eat and then if we eat this unhealthy unripe fruit we our body is going to become more acidic it's going to become more irritated instead of feeling satisfied and then we're going to have to eat something else or eat some eat some more food because we're not satisfied and we, we want to learn how to source these right fruits and most of the fruits and vegetables around the world grown conventionally is going to be shit. It's not going to be good. It's hard to live on that. I cannot live on that anymore. I can live on that for a certain amount of times, but it's not optimal. And that's why most people don't succeed on a raw food diet because they go only fruit and then it's too much sugar for them it's too much sugar 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 and then they go crazy because they're they're not grounded they're not balanced they have a lot of fiber but they're not feeling satisfied ever and then you need to learn how to balance that with the vegetables if you do it on conventional fruit and or do it with juices there are a lot of options the thing is like fruit is quite easy and quite sweet so raw food has become mostly around fruit so i want to help you guys to learn tools to how to change that and how have a healthy living diet i don't even care about raw it's just living and organic it, raw is just my thing in my way and I want to help everyone to just be better and healthy so there are ways to do it and raw is in my opinion the best way juices and liquid diets is the best way for me but I want to help you to go on a healthier living diet doesn't matter if it's cooked or raw I, I would if in a transition i would still incorporate some cooked food if you need to but it's not optimal that that's the thing 
and it's possible to do raw in my opinion almost everywhere based on what you have just if you go and care and give the time and effort for yourself to build that lifestyle that it is my lifestyle to live healthy and it's in my practice it's in my day-to-day -day. it's not just like i'm living life and going in this flow of life and taking everything is just taking me to a ride and then like i eat whatever people want me to eat or whatever around me and just like you ended up not yourself because the food is controlling you so i want to just help people understand why raw food is so important and why raw food is so hard to do and yeah for me the best raw food that was satisfying for me is the local living organic ones and doesn't have to be sweet doesn't have to be a lot doesn't have to be like the best sweetest mango in the world this is nice every now and then if i can get one <clears throat> if i can get one from local from kopangan let's say i'm living in kopangan right now and i get this ripe fresh mango i would love it i would eat it and this would be more satisfying than the mango i would eat from wherever i in thailand and they all look the same and all taste the same so the thing is the difference between the conventional produce and the local produce which is a, the local is available almost everywhere for a lot of people they just need to know where to source it to source it if you're around the tropics for sure it's easier if you're in a city you maybe have to make some calls or find some groups and stuff but you can source it and i want to help you to learn how to build a diet around that healthy living organic fresh vibrant fruits and vegetables um thank you everyone for listening and um, happy to share that message with you and hope you're having a great day